Hey guys, I'm Joseph Vero, designer, engineer, and CEO of Vero Engineering. I'm here at Huckberry in the Gear Lab to show you guys my everyday carry and my travel carry. Vero Engineering is a company that started designing knives. I had an idea for a knife, had it made, and I was really happy with it. So the idea was to get it produced, and people seem to dig it. But by and large, this is all very functional stuff that I use daily, and glad it all fits into one backpack. Absolutely love it, it's a Vertex gamut. I did a lot of research on backpacks, and this one really fit my needs for kind of an EDC. I'll start with the outside of the bag. So it has this rip down flap here, which is kind of cool, and actually, fits underneath so you can keep this out if you want to. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. If you're hiking and there's a fell tree in the path and you wanna help clear that off for, for other hikers and stuff, it's great to have gloves on. Having this light here, this is a AA battery light, so it works very, very well in emergency situations. Med kit, self-explanatory. In the knife world, somebody will definitely cut themselves. So having a med kit there, it's, it's very, very important. Then we have a fixed blade here is a Vero Engineering Axon fixed blade. This is actually my first fixed blade design and I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. So the idea here is that you have a pristine edge on you. It's a great way to have kind of an emergency edge in those situations where you may need to cut your seatbelt. One of the things I really like about this backpack is that it has a an enclosed water bottle holder. So I can take my water bottle which is my favorite water bottle, it's a Contigo. Really, really love this water bottle, but it takes the water bottle and I can actually fully enclose it inside of here. I really love that feature about this bag. In the other side pocket, there are pouches and a zipper pouch. In the large pouch here, I carry my Ray-Bans. These are Ray-Ban Justin's Polarized. I absolutely love these. I've tried to find other sunglasses that I like better than these, but I haven't. They're nice and scratched up and well-worn, they're great. Also in here is the fulcrum. This is my primary fulcrum. I designed this fulcrum to allow you to have your bits on you that you can remove from the bit well and insert into the back end here. So you can have that screwdriver that you need. You wanna fix your sunglasses. You wanna take the batteries out of your kid's toy. This is the perfect thing for that. And it works really well as a pry bar. So as a pry bar here with a flathead screwdriver. So another reason why I love this backpack is being able to clamshell open the backpack. It's great to just take your stuff out. and actually makes it really easy for packing. This is kind of my, my go-to travel kit. This is a, a nutsack bag. I love this bag, great company, and it fits very well, especially if you're, you're cube packing. Next is just kind of a generic case that I put my watch in if I'm going through security. If I wanna like leave it in my bag for some reason, I put the watch in here charging cables. HDMI cable, this is extremely valuable if you travel a lot. You plug it into your laptop, have a second monitor, and also if you have kids, to be able to keep them quiet, you can put on your Netflix or whatever on the big screen. This is a phone holder, kind of just a, a cheap one off of Amazon, but I absolutely love this phone holder. It has this clamping system here that you can clamp onto a table, onto the, the seat in front of you on a plane, and be able to hold your phone. It, it's fantastic. Another thing that I, I never leave home with, especially traveling, is Pedialyte pack. I drink one of these a day, and especially when you're traveling, you, you, you maybe don't drink as much water as you should. So having one of these thrown into your water bottle has probably saved my life, honestly. So I keep a bunch of those in here as well. When I travel, I have to have an iPad with me. This is how I initiate designs. So if I have an idea for a design, sometimes I sketch it out on a, on a piece of paper first, uh, oftentimes a napkin, and then, I take that design and I transition it to the iPad. So I use Procreate as my initial design program with this type of system. I'm able to literally push things around and see in you know, real time what that design might look like. Once I get to a certain point with the design in a 2D fashion, that's when I export this into a CAD program, which is actually why I need my second piece of tech, a MacBook Pro. I love this MacBook. It has an M2 chip in it. It is super fast. It allows me to not only do the CAD that I need to do, but also edit photography, edit video. It does everything that I need in a very, very small, easy to carry package. So in the EDC world, there's EDC pouches. This one's my favorite, designed by Tom Medovich of Notorious EDC. You can put a lot of stuff in here. It's actually surprising. Inside, this is his slip joint knife. It's a nice, 
small knife. Again, I keep this blade pristine. It is very, very thin behind the edge, so it makes for a very good slicer. My favorite pen, until of course I designed my own, is a Zebra 701 mod that I did probably about five years ago. It makes it an all steel pen. They actually listened to the modding community and came out with their own steel version of this right now. But this pen is fantastic. It's, it's my go-to. Also, there's a Hank in here. This is a Vero Hank. It has a microfiber back side so that if you need to, you can clean off your blade. There is my tertiary fulcrum. So I keep this fulcrum in here with different bits, smaller Phillips head, T10, which I don't use often, but it's nice to have. Also, this is a beer bomb, which is a little pry tool bottle opener, again, designed by Tom. And this is my favorite flashlight course until I design my own. This is an Okluma DC Zero. It's a, a lithium battery. They're handmade by a guy named Jeff. Love to be able to support him. These are just fantastic, super well made. And speaking of titanium, this is the Axon Mini Frame Lock. I actually almost called the original Axon an APO, an Amazon package opener because of the blade shape. It's a Warncliffe blade shape, so the tip of the blade is low. This makes it really good for slice cutting, opening up packages, scoring things, food prep. These types of Warncliffe blades work really, really well for that. So this is full titanium, clip, backspacer, screws. It's an M390 steel blade, which is a bowler German steel. Very, very high edge retention. This one's a front flipper, so there's a bit of the blade that sticks up at the top that you can actually use your thumb to roll over the top and open it up, as well as some milled pockets in the blade for you to be able to open it up with your, let's say, middle finger or your thumb. There's also a small pouch up here that I keep my anchor battery pack in. Never leave home without it. You never know when you might need it. Having this is great. And I carry, and I absolutely love this in charge USB to lightning. So it has USB A to lightning, and then it has USB C's hidden inside. Always, always keep this on me. I learned a long time ago uh, while watching Good Eats with Alton Brown. He didn't allow things in the kitchen that were unitaskers. They just had one purpose. They had to do more than just that one thing. And funny enough, that stuck with me through my design. I, I try to keep things with me and create things that is more than just doing one thing, more than just cutting. It's the experience of using the knife. It's how it feels taking the knife out of your pocket, putting it away. Another thing I really love about this backpack is this top pocket here. It's very easily accessible. So it's large and it carries a lot. And inside of here is my favorite pencil, which is a Rotring 600. This got me through a lot of very, very late nights in college. I have a divot in my middle finger from this knurling right here. And I love, love these steel thin rulers that have US metric. They come in extremely handy if I want something to be small enough to fit in, say a pouch or something like that. This works really, really well. As the person who oftentimes has to fix the knives, I take apart and reassemble knives a lot. But I actually found a Griffin Tool Company in Canada makes these full titanium bit drivers that have a bearing in the end, which kind of had, it was a little difficult to get a hold of while using. So I just quickly designed and printed out this little holder. This is telling me that this is a T8 so that I'm able to grip onto the holder and then spin the driver. These are fantastic. These are probably the best drivers I've ever used, of course until I design my own. So the next thing that's in my bag, Apple AirPod Pros. I absolutely love these. You can put them in noise canceling. They're absolutely a necessity. So much so that I always carry two. I found that while they charge very, very quickly, that little stint between taking them out to charge and then being able to take them back out and put them in my ears, I'll lose focus. I'll hear what they're talking about and wanna go jump in the conversation. To save everybody's sanity, including my own, I got a second pair because it straddles the line between backpack carry and personal carry. It's an Arcco wallet. If I'm leaving my backpack, let's say in my office or even at home and I'm, I'm, I'm going out, this makes it very, very functional to just get everything that I need for like a quick day trip that allows me to keep a knife on me. 
So this is the Vero Engineering Impulse Thin. The idea behind this knife was that it is full titanium, M390 steel. It has ceramic bearings, a ceramic detent. So this is a frame lock. The idea here is that the titanium frame of the knife also works as the locking mechanism. So when you open up the knife, it locks the knife open and has a steel insert in the titanium to have steel on steel locking. It's a very secure, very functional way to lock a knife. It also features a Vero flipper tab that allows your flipper tab to stay in line with the spine of the knife, allows you to pull down and fires the knife out. This is unassisted. This has a drop point blade, has a thinner blade stock, 3.5 millimeters, and is thin overall. It also has internal milling on the titanium, which allows it to be even lighter. While you get a very strong, very functional knife, it feels good to hold because it's nice and light. It feels good to carry, and it feels good to open and close. I also keep in here a full-size fulcrum, which is, like the name suggests, a full size of the fulcrum mini. And it has a full titanium clip, full titanium body, allows you to carry two bits that you can move the O-rings, pop the bits out, put them in the clip. And then now you have a bit driver, again, to adjust your knife. On this one, I keep a Phillips head and flathead because I keep my T8s in my other ones. So the fulcrum is really functional for having it as a bit driver, but it is also a pry bar. And the pry bar has a thin tip so that you can use this as a flat head as well. Another great function for the fulcrum is for photography, actually. I do a lot of photography now and using this for tripod plates, you know, those screw heads that are just big flat heads. This works extremely well for, you know, trying to get your fingers in there and get it. Using this, being able to get it nice and tight so that your camera doesn't move. This works really, really well for that. On the back side, an Apple Mag wallet, which I love. Also in my Arco wallet, while traveling, this works very well. So it allows me to keep my hotel key, so I always know where it is, and keep cash, which I don't actually carry normally unless I am traveling. So the last thing that I keep in the slip, what everybody should keep in their wallet, if you want to stay hygienically sound, a dude wipe. These are absolutely fantastic. It's like a knife where you don't know how much you need it until you have it and then you forget it one day. Love this thing. While all of this stuff is extremely functional, it's great to have with you. You have to carry a big backpack. I keep a couple things on me that I have on me all the time. Well, first is a pocket knife. And if it is not, let's say the impulse thin, it is a Axon fixed blade knife with a titanium clip so that you can carry it in your pocket. And the idea here is that makes your knife easy to carry. This makes this an EDC fixed blade, a fixed blade that you want to carry every day and you want to use every day. It's a much more secure knife because it is non-locking. You have that stronger fixed blade on you. The main thing that I carry that I have on me all the time, like most of you, is my cell phone. For me, this is the conduit to my business. It's something that I, I, I want to have on me because it is part of my business, but also allows me to you know sit back and relax and listen to a book. And sometimes you can't just listen to a book. So right now I'm reading The Road Less Stupid by Keith Cunningham. I actually found recently that listening to books, I don't get that's the same out of it. Sometimes I'll buy the book that I'm listening to and now I can dog eat your pages. I can highlight very, very good book. And something that I'm trying to hold on to is carrying an analog watch on me. I love this watch. This is a Tudor Pelagos, full titanium. It has an adjustable band. So move your band in the clasp to make it a little bit smaller or a little bit larger when you need to. Again, this is my favorite watch until of course I design my own. So keep an eye out for that. It's kind of funny, now, now that I'm looking at this table, this is a lot of stuff. I didn't kind of realize how much stuff that I carry. You know, looking at this and kind of reflecting on it, 
seeing that there is a reason why I carry it. I don't just have it. This is very practical, but by and large, this is all very functional stuff that I use daily and Glad it all fits into one backpack because carrying two backpacks would be weird. First, I want to thank Huckberry for inviting me here at the Gear Lab. This is such a cool experience. If you want to find out more about Vero Engineering, some of our designs, check us out on VeroEngineering.com, Instagram, Vero Engineering, and also check out for some of these things that's going to be on Huckberry's site as well. So thanks again. See you out there.